everyone. Uh, welcome to the unbagging of our Bluefin 10.8 sup that I got the other day in the post. Uh, I've had it out of the box and everything, and had a good look at everything just to make sure you know all's okay. And I'm really impressed with like the quality of everything I've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unbag it all, probably just speed it up a bit, sort of speed the motion, um, and just lay it all out and have a look, pump it up, and check it out. So there it is so far. Um, got some really cool things with it, like you know, a waterproof phone case that they supplied with it, uh, puncture repair kit, some patches and stuff inside, and a tool to the strap. Um, loving the look of this seat. So yeah, looking like looking at that. Fins. Oh, the bag is really good quality. Love the bag, yeah. So there we are so far. Okay, time to pump it up. That didn't take too long. Bit of a workout. Um, pump's pretty good. Gives you an indication on the top there about your bar pressure. So they say 15 to 18 psi. So yeah, didn't take long. Bit of a workout though. Okay, time to put the fins in. Seems to be quite a straightforward thing with these. Lift the little hatch, little lever, pop it in. Done, that's one. Lift the lever, put it in. That's two. Easy, nice and sturdy as well. Yeah, like the look of that. Cool. So just gonna have a look to see um, how easy this kayak conversion seat goes on. Um, by the looks of it, it seems a pretty straightforward job. I think it's literally a case of just hooking these onto the D-rings. And then we'll check out and see how firm that fits. This seems quite simple. You can probably do this while you're out and about on the water. There we go. So, literally Clipping the front clips, clipping the back clips, tighten it up to, you know, what feels good. Yeah, like look at that. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the paddle next. So with the paddle, it comes in three pieces. So you've got your center one there. Looks like we've got some 
little release bits there, yes, to Stretchy leash, nice material. So nice neoprene underneath that. Neoprene, a good length. And just attach it onto the back of the board. Includes a puncture repair kit. And what they've done in here is just put some extra clips in for the fins. There's three extra clips. Broke, drop that one. And a little valve tightening up tool. And what they've done is they've given you a couple of patches. One blue, one white. But unfortunately, no glue. So that's handy. Blue fin, well done. Get a puncture, but no glue to stop it. But you know, there you go. I can always pick up some glue, do a bit of research on what glue would be best to keep that in that packet there. Just taking the fins off, just to lay it flat. Um, good quality, nice and strong. Not flimsy at all, which is quite nice. Strap. So when I guess you wrap it all up before you stick it back in the bag, um, just clip it together. And a waterproof phone case, which is a good touch. You never know when you might need your phone while you're out and about. One blue fin. Oh, almost forgot to put the extension handle. That's part of that. So there's a quick overview of the kit. Looking to get it out on the water as soon as I can. Um, yeah, some good times ahead on that one. Watch some nice sunsets, and then just to enjoy the chill. Nice one, there you go, thanks. So I just had an idea. I was about to put my phone in this Bluefin waterproof phone case. And I thought to myself, you know what? Instead of just risking putting my phone in it and hoping it don't leak, why not just put some kitchen roll in there? Submerge it in the water. If it leaks, kitchen roll's ruined. Oh, what was that? A little bubble of air. So I'm giving it a good squeeze. And we'll find out if I trust putting my phone inside it for when I'm next at the beach on the sea. So. Okay, that's good news. Kitchen roll is completely dry. So, uh, thumbs up. Nice one.